Hey there, beautiful souls. This is Christy with Art of Awakening, and I want to address something that comes up a lot in the awakening process, and it can really hold you back if you're not aware of it, okay? And that's this process of sometimes when we set an intention or we start stepping into our power, then often what can happen is that all these obstacles start popping up. For instance, we decide that we're going to turn our finances around and either you know start making money or start paying down debt and all of a sudden your car breaks down and you know you lose your wallet and you just lose a bunch of money okay that's one example um or you decide that you are going to lose weight and then you sprain your ankle and you can't exercise <laughs> and you know so and and then you know somebody gives you a chocolate bar and all this stuff happens and you end up gaining five pounds or you know the you know the scene right um where you make this intention and the world appears to conspire to just keep you from it right everything goes to hell in a handbasket Okay, so why does this happen? Well, what's happening is that when we make this, you know, declare our, our power, when we set this intention, it set, starts setting things in motion. And what happens is sometimes the first thing that happens is it flushes up all sorts of stuff to be cleared. And so it's really just as you know, if you are wanting to maybe plant a new garden, the first thing you have to do is clear out all the weeds that are in the, in the way, you know, any brush or weeds, or if you're, you know, wanting to redesign a room, then the first thing you have to do is kind of take everything out of there. So, and a lot of times it's stuff that you're not even, aware of or don't, don't even think about until it's time to address that thing. And then you realize there's all this stuff in the way that needs to be taken out. So that is what's happening uh, when we start making these declarations of power or decisions, you know, to, to step onto our path of power. It just brings into our awareness, all this stuff. And sometimes that happens in a very tangible, physical way. Okay, it's the same thing as a healing crisis, if you're familiar with that. Sometimes when, 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 especially in conditions that have been around for a while, when we start to treat them, the body, the symptoms get worse for a while. And it doesn't mean that the treatment isn't working. In fact, quite the opposite. It means that it's triggering something and starting to trigger this healing reaction. And whatever it is, is fighting back. Okay, um, so the antidote to that first thing is deep gratitude. And I know it's really hard to be grateful for <laughs> things that are just nasty or, you know, things that are appear to be exactly the opposite of what we want. But what the gratitude is, is just gratitude for the process. Okay. So thank you. <laughs> you know, thank you for the car breakdown because it's showing me that, you know, that this energy has been put in motion. And it's also showing me that I've got the strength because whatever it is that you, that you need to do to get over it, it's, it's showing you that you've got that power to do it. Okay. Um, okay. So gratitude is the first part of these antidote. The second part is acceptance. Okay. Cause the more we fight it, it is what it is. And the more we can just accept it and go into, um, you know, this is how it is and what do I need to do to get over it, it, it it's going to be a lot easier. It just helps you to go with the flow rather than, you know, the, the, the more we're fighting it that just riles up our energy and creates more disturbance. Okay, so first gratitude and acceptance and then to continue to focus on your desired outcome, maintain that intention. 
Okay, so what happens is that you'll be shown, you got to kind of tune into your intuition. So rather than like, okay, so you can focus on something and, and then try to force it, or you can just focus, maintain the intention, and then tune into your intuition, and it will tell you what to do, okay? Because there's a lot of ways to get over an obstacle. One is you can actually plow through it, you know, meet it head on. Um, the fighter in us likes to do that. Sometimes it's appropriate, but other times there's other ways. Sometimes sometimes the best way to overcome something is to just ignore it, come into a place of peace within yourself, and sometimes things just fall away on their own. Sometimes you need to find a way around it. So a lot of different ways, but your intuition will guide you there. Okay? So if this has happened to you lately, if you've just are are coming into a a place where there's a lot of obstacles coming up um just know that it's part of the process it's part of the healing process it's part of the process of coming into your power um it's a purification thing and that's why i use this particular piece of art it's sort of like this you know the the trickster comes into play and it really is doing that in order to kind of clear to eat away anything that is you know, that, that's, that's not for your highest good that may be in, in your psyche, in your system, in your spiritual, um, spiritual, physical, or mental body. It will bring it up, flush it up to be addressed. And again, gratitude, acceptance, and just staying focused on desire and, and tuning into your intuition. It's a way through it. Okay, so good luck. Uh, we've all we all, you know, this is something that we all go through. And if it's happening for you, it's a good thing, <laughs> even if it doesn't feel like it. So much love and blessings to you. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll catch you again later. <laughs>